Throughout Masters of the Air Episode 6, different storylines are explored, from Crosby's time at Oxford to Rosenthal's week of rest, but what is also followed is Major John Egan's attempted escape from Germany, and one scene in particular is evocative of an unexpected type of war film. Masters of the Air Episode 6 is unlike the series' previous episodes in many ways. Mainly, the sixth installment takes a break from dangerous flying missions and delves deep into the varying fates of the 100th Bomb Group's men. While some struggle with taking a break, others are fighting for their lives. Major John Egan's storyline in Masters of the Air Episode 6 is one of the most shocking storylines of the episode, and perhaps even the entire series. Egan crash lands in Germany after the Munster raid and quickly becomes a POW. During his travels to Stalag Luft III, Egan and other Americans are attacked by German citizens and Egan saves his own life by playing dead. The biggest shock of all was when Egan arrived at the camp to find his friend Major Gail Cleveland alive. However, there is one early scene in Egan's story that is especially distinct. Masters of the Air episode SIXS opening scene feels more like a Vietnam War movie. Although Masters of the Air is firmly planted in World War II, the opening scene of episode 6 feels strangely like a Vietnam War movie. After being called out by a group of German children, John Egan hides in a pond, hidden behind a series of tall reeds. The scene is intense, as audiences watch a German man walk by a silent and still Egan right behind him. The inclusion of water and reeds makes sense for the scenario Egan is going through, but the visuals are also very evocative of a war that happens a full two decades later. Although the Pacific theater of World War II would look quite similar to Vietnam, the general consensus among war movies is that World War II looks quite different from the Vietnam War. Where World War II has snow, mountains, and fields, the Vietnam War is full of jungle. In this way, it is very cool and unique that Masters of the Air was able to combine the two aesthetics. Masters of the Air evoking the Vietnam War is a good thing. Harry Crosby from Masters of the Air riding on a train. Overall, Masters of the Air's ability to evoke both World War II and the Vietnam War is a good thing because it honors the war genre as a whole. Although there have been countless wars throughout human history, they all share a common thread of violence and fear. In this way, no matter what war a series is portraying, they are all being depicted in a certain way. Ultimately, Masters of the Air is able to honor the men who served in World War II and Vietnam by merging them into a single, intense scene.